Welcome to GB Camper Conversions latest van tour of a micro camper on a Citroen Berlingo. Firstly, if you want to like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to press the little bell for notifications for the next time that we pop a video up there, that would be much appreciated. Uh, just firstly, a little bit about what it is we do. So we build bespoke conversions and normally the customer supplies the vehicle. Um, so this is, for instance, this one, it, the vehicle was supplied by the customer we have a little chat about what it is they want uh, and then we come up with the design with the features that they're after and then they drop the van off for us we do the conversion and they turn up pick the van up and away they go we don't supply the vehicles as much anymore just because of the price increases um, on vehicles so um, again customer vehicle we do the fit out and away they go. We can make it to most specifications like this one. There's been a few extras that the customers asked for, but you can pick the fabric colors of your cushions. There's several choices on um, the ply board that we use for the furniture on the worktop uh, and the carpeted bases that we put around the seat sides as well. Same with the flooring. So plenty of options to choose from to tailor it to your own specific requirements. Let's get into it. So with this being um, a Berlingo, and it's uh, one of the earlier sort of models, so it is only a short wheelbase, it is, ideally it's meant just for one person. Um, so the bed in this one, when it's pulled out into a bed, is 850 wide by 1750 long so we're not far off 1800 we can probably go right to the back door and make it 1800 i have that that's not a problem um, but in this case 1750 was absolutely fine for the customer and 850 wide was what they wanted in regards to the width of the bed again we can probably if you're not having a sink in there so obviously this is this this actual unit is determined by the sink so therefore we couldn't really make it much shorter otherwise we wouldn't get a sink in to make the bed any wider we can certainly narrow the bed and make this unit uh, a touch wider as well but it's all down to the customer's preference and what they ask for so in this particular micro camper conversion as you can see we've got the main cabinet here um, and, and They've got a 12 volt electrical package. So underneath the first seat box is where we put the leisure battery, the DC to DC charger, because it is a newer uh, model of Berlingo. So it does need that with it having the smart alternator. Like I say, 12 volts only. So on the cupboard, we've got the light switch for the ceiling, lights in the ceiling. Two lights, one at the front, one at the back, both central. We've got a twin USB port, and then we've got the 12 volt power outlet, the cigarette lighter socket, if you like. And they're all housed nicely in there. Again, what does what else works off the 12 volt is the tap, so it's got a micro switch. And, and again, this was a feature that was asked for. It was to have a stainless steel sink nice little compact one but you can still get plenty of stuff in there and a cold water supply so in this first cupboard we've got the fresh water container and then we've got the waste container as well decent size opening so you can get both bottles out to either go and empty your waste or take the fresh one out to go and get it filled up again and like i say that just works on a micro switch 
So it, it is a cold water supply only. And the pumps aren't too bad, quite a decent amount of pressure there. Pull the plug and now it's going to go into the waste container. Alongside that cupboard, we've got this again, this was asked for by the customer. Like I say, you know, we'll build it to tailor your needs. Uh, and this was to have a tall cupboard for tall items. Um, so that's what we did. You can get still round the corner to the end of the unit. You can get absolutely plenty in there. If you wanted, we could pop a shelf in there. That's not a problem. Uh, and then the other extra bit of storage, which again was an extra, uh, are the window storage boxes. On the push button, keeps it locked up there. We put, we make our own blackout backing so that you can't see through the window into the cupboard. And we don't put a shelf in purely because the, the space becomes too minimal with a shelf in there. So we leave it as a full open cupboard. And then on the other side, we have the same drop down door, window storage box, get plenty of soft items in there. And with it having the push button catch on there, there's no chance of the door actually opening whilst you're traveling. Just below the door is where we put the table rail for the internal dining table. The internal dining table lives on the back of the unit. So it's got a turnbuckle, stops it from sliding around, moving around whilst you're traveling. It's on the pivoting leg with an adjustable height as well. So we drop it on our rail, adjust the height to suit yourself. And that will slide up and down that rail. You can lock it on as well, just so that it doesn't jump off. But that will slide up and down that rail. So again, nice, nice little bit of extra table space. Even though we've got plenty of worktop just past the sink, we've got the extra dining table there. Again, in this particular one, uh, we were asked to put in a bit of extra worktop for them. So although you've got this decent sized bit of worktop and if you wanted to pop the internal table up on the rail here as well, we've also got that bit of extra worktop on a lift up table. So again, it just creates more of a worktop, more of a work surface. And when it's not in use, I can get round there. It just stows away, pops back down. So with the cushions that we use, we get the we 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 get the foams. We ask for seventy five mil thick with a dacron, which plumps it up, which makes it sort of look a bit more plumpish and we have it covered in stock in there as well to stop the material from moving around. Um, we do our own upholstery. So again, if that's something that you're looking to have done, I'm sure we could help out there. Various shades, like I say, you can pick from any sort of, any base colors or even supply the material yourself. It's not a problem. We do put a ply back in there because it acts as the infill for the bed, it needs to be quite a solid surface because you're gonna put a fair amount of weight on it. And then another little touch, and that is just um, a storage compartment for where the portable stove can live. So it's out the way because you, I mean, you could get access in and out of this door if you wanted to climb over the seat, but it's just there, it's out the way, it doesn't interfere with the bed. The door shuts nicely and it's just stowed away there, ready for you to use. 
on your worktop or on your internal table and away you go. The last extra that was put on this van which was requested by the customer as well were the curtains. So like we mentioned before these are it's the partition curtain for the cab of a Volkswagen T5 T6 and they're absolutely ideal. You can, it's an aluminium rail the curtains are pre-made with all the hooks all the tie backs the press studs everything already on there and they're just the right length for what we use them for so they're on a tie back like I say they all come complete as a kit you've just got to trim the rail down and then put the end stops in cut it to the right length that you want and that then gives you that bit of privacy on the back door and again it was asked for just in the cab area as well so when those seats are forward, like I'll show you in a minute for how the bed is, that just gives you that bit of privacy. The only two windows that need um, the thermal blinds is the two side loading doors. And the last feature that we always put on our vans, uh, no matter what the model, uh, unless it's got the mechanical switch and not the, uh, not the electric switch, is the push button on the rear door so that if you are inside and you want to get out, it's just a case of pressing the button, it activates the lock, just push the door from the bottom uh, and up and away it goes. So you can get in and out the back nice and comfortably. So as all our beds that we put in the micro campers, they all work in the same way. And we put four heavy duty runners on, you release the front, it pulls out, you do get extra storage under there as a, as a bonus. That cushion stays there. This one drops in. That's a nice solid base. And with it having 75 mil foam as well, it's nice and comfortable to lie on as well as sit on. So you're not sinking all the way through and starting to touch the ply base or the wood that's underneath. It's a nice, comfortable bed. You can opt for uh, the thinner foam, which you can have anything between 50 and 75, or if you wanted to, you could even go thicker than that if you wanted to. Now, the front part. So with the front section of the bed, like always, it's a nice, simple process. Just drop that cushion down. We have to have the passenger and the driver's seat pulled all the way forwards. A little bit of a recline. Then again, the same operation on the front section is on runners. It pulls out. Now we're not gonna put a massive amount of weight on here. It's either gonna be feet or your head. And you just drop that infill into there. Like I say, the, the, the seats will stop it from sliding anywhere. That's our 1750 long by 850 wide single bed. The process to get the bed back is just simply do everything in reverse, pull the cushion out, slide that section back in. You'll feel a bit of a resistance and then go again. It'll just lock the hinges in place. We can now bring our driver's seat, recline it a touch, bring it back. You can do the same with the passenger side. I'm sure you will before you set up driving, but that's just a nice angle to leave that to rest upon. And then the same with the back, do it in reverse, pull the cushion out, Stand it up, slide it back, you'll feel some resistance, go again, they lock in place. Now, like I say, we do use these as back rests, which you can, but because there's nothing fixed to, to stop them from moving around, they are actually the infills for the bed, that's their main use, but you can use them as a back rest. And we always just suggest just lying them down or dropping them in the floor 
whilst you're traveling so they're not flying around all over the place. The colors were all picked by the customer. Like I say, there's quite a decent range uh, of furniture boards, worktops, materials for the cushions, and pretty much everything else. We are GB Camper Conversions, based in Tamworth in Staffordshire. We have a website, gbcamperconversions.com. There's an inquiry form on there. There's a contact number. If you've got a conversion in mind, we'd love to hear from you. Drop us a message and we'll do our best to get in contact with you. Thanks for watching this one and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great time camping.